Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault New Vegas. As I was saying, uh, you get this choice a lot with all uh, with your healing skills and your combat skills. Basically, it comes down to ease of maintenance and use versus firepower. Uh, is the best way to put it. Basically. Um, well, that, that's for weapon skills, but it's basically going off uh, what's best for survival, what's easiest to scrounge up. Guns are common, ammo is common, though ammo is still rare to some extent. Uh, they're much more common than energy weapons or typically explosives, though you can still find yourself some improvised explosives. And and guns are easier to maintain just because you can get more parts and they have uh... they wear out slower they're more rugged while energy weapons because they're uh... battery powered devices their ammo is rarer uh... they wear down easier but they're very powerful they pack more punch uh... typically at least Six, can I borrow a smoke? Uh, unlike per oh, wow. unlike Fallout 3, where energy weapons were as common as were as common as guns, and didn't pack a whole bunch of punch. Uh, energy weapons in this game got buffed a bunch, but now they're rarer, as which what should be, as that was uh, how it worked in Fallout 1 and 2, where energy weapons. Uh, were frankly the best, they were just hard to get your hands on. So, a little less in two. But, uh, yeah, it's the same case here. And even with unarmed melee weapons, no ammo! Uh, so yeah, for the... You don't have to worry about scavenging, scavenging about ammo in exchange for only being effective at melee range. And with uh, w with your healing skills, survival versus medicine, uh, medicine requires things like Radaway and Radex and Stim Packs and these pre-war items, which are hard to get your hands on but powerful. He's got to be real quiet, like. And they'll do more work; they're better at fixing you up. But it's hard to get your hands on that stuff. It's much easier get your hands on food, uh, which heals you at a slower rate, but actually can heal you more than a stim pack could over time. Are you fucking kidding me? First I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ! If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! Yeah, that's my infamy among, amongst Powder Gangers. Why are you still here? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? prize for second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? I don't have any medics for you. Bullshit! You're holding, you just want it all for yourself. How did you survive? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place, so him they let walk. Tell me about the lottery. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. How'd your plan go wrong? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. 
He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What happened after everyone got, a, got lottery tickets? What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cause it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner, they let go free. What happened to the mayor? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. You said some of the people were enslaved? Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Hmm, not my problem. That's how I figure it. Got problems of my own to handle. Huh. See you later. Bye. So, yeah. Pretty crazy massacre. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Not too much freaking stuff. Oh wait, I can still use those doctor's bags. They're medicine, but still. Can't use them. Also, cams aren't affected by any skill. Their effects are static. I didn't want to take the pot, I wanted to move it. I still have that inversion... Yep, I still have the inversion coin. Alright. Right. Oh, by the way, they sort of didn't... Well, he will never get up on his own if you shoot him and make him enter combat. He will hey, six, actually... Hey, we stop off somewhere? I need to buy some ammo. And, uh, some whiskey. Some cigarettes. Something to play with. Maybe a belt with a skull in it. That'll be good. He'll, uh, yeah, he'll... He'll get up, etc. It would probably be pretty hard to, uh, add in... A completely crippled NPC in this game. There's unique assets for a small part. I, didn't, I don't blame them for not putting that in. As long as you don't be stupid and shoot him, but don't shoot him in one shot and things like that, you're not ever going to notice it. Ooh! Assault carbine. Yeah, it looks familiar to that uh, M16. Well, it is nothing like that. This actually has a different internal mechanism, blah, 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 blah. It's actually somewhat accurate. Unlike in M16 or AR or whatever, where they have terrible accuracy. Okay, but I know exactly what's in there. 
making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Gotta keep checking the time, checking the time, checking the time. Because if we go over time, then I'm gonna have to redo this episode or trim it. And, and well, I can just trim things now, but still. Oh, and don't sell cartons of cigarettes or cigarette packs. I said they were currency, but then I forgot. Wait, uh, we're not playing Fallout 3. We're playing New Vegas, where they're still very valuable, but you should just hoard them until uh, you get the dead money DLC, when you get to that DLC. Uh, otherwise you can sell them, but with dead money there's a much better use for them. Ready to die for your country, you commie! I love how ran I, I love how things get censored by violence whenever I'm recording. <laughs> wow, that that thing got messed up. You coming <laughs> You commie son of a smack That has happened multiple times now and I, I I find it quite funny when it does. And you can actually can't pick most of this, those vision batteries up because they're the static kind. Ooh, plasma pistol. Check the revolver, another revolver, leather armor. A standard leather armor is nothing new, really. Uh, it, it looks, but this leather armor design is based on the Mad Max movies. As you can see. So yeah. He's never seen. No, no bomb. Six, I'm bored. You wanna play ice spot? More leather. You can go first. Hey, hey six. Crazy cat. And I'm not gonna bother with this. I'll probably go back and open these things later when I have more explosive skill. But for now. But I think you've had enough of. Who got something good for me? Is it a dress? Me raiding through uh, empty buildings. So uh, yeah, the rest of these I will cut out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.